Hello and welcome in. If you're like me, you probably skipped through the sync tutorial as quickly as possible to get straight to playing with your friends. But there was some useful information in there. So we're going to recap some of that, as well as offering more top tips for beginners from my early gameplay that you might have missed. First up, let's talk about Prime Nanos. They're the big guys that can help you in battle. There are four different types of game launch, each with its own special power. To get a Prime Nano, shoot it till it falls down, then run over to it and hold down the Q button. The Prime Nano will become your bodyguard and help you fight enemies. If you already have yours and you are playing on a team, make sure to check if anyone else needs the Prime Nano before you finish it. And it's easy to see who has already synced with the Prime Nano by looking at the icons next to the names on the bottom of the screen. Now, before you decide that you are so good to need one, I urge you to think again, as they may offer more than you think. Not only can they assist you by fighting enemies, but just as important are the buffs they give you while they're still on your arm and the jump ability they give you that is invaluable in PvP. Play with them all, see which suits your playstyle, and learn how to get them involved in your games. You won't be sorry. Something that took me a little longer than it should have to realise is that there are two types of aim. If you are in close combat and just want a quick way to improve your aim, hold down your ADS button. This is not a full-on ADS and it's not the most accurate method, but it is quick and it's more than good enough for short range. You will want a full-on ADS for sniping and long-range shots though, and for that you just tap and release the ADS button. There are loads of things to collect in this game, but let's look at a few early essentials. Obviously you will want to get armor ASAP and better weapons as you find them, but after that you need to keep your eye out for Nerva, Radia and Mods. <laughs> Radia is available from killing players and other NPC enemies, as well as from radia pools like this one. Make sure you collect it when you can, and head to shops and exchanges which are visible on the maps. I would head to the shops first to max out your armour and weapons before heading to the exchanges for other valuable buffs. Don't worry about saving this though, it is not transferable between games. The next thing you need to know to look for is Nerf. This comes from capturing harvesters and you can steal it by killing players. When they die, they drop one third of their nervous stash for anyone to pick up. So if you down someone, make sure you head over to collect it if you can. And also, it stops others from benefiting from your hard work. Not only do you need it for upgrades and a variety of other things between games, but it is also the scoring mechanic in PvP games, with the winner being the last team standing or the team that has most nerve at the end. Mods can also be found in game, which give you a whole variety of buffs and are vital for increasing your player power. You can also recycle the ones you don't want for Nerva back at the base. They are predominantly earned from killing enemy Nianos, but can also be found in certain special locations, such as this airdrop, and also by completing missions. Finally, it is worth noting that the runner characteristics are not just cosmetic. They all have their own benefits, so again, play with them all and see which suits you. There are three available at the start of the game, and to give you a quick idea of where to start, Dead Cut is good for close combat play, Dr. Stone has great ways to help you and your team heal up and stay alive, whilst Glory is best keeping the enemies at range and long range combat. Thanks for watching this far, I genuinely, genuinely really appreciate it. If you're enjoying Synced 2, then please consider subscribing to catch my upcoming gameplay videos of this and other great games, and let me know in the comments section your top tip for new players.